Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Feth. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed today to Bahrain, marking the conclusion of an official visit to the Arab Republic of Egypt. During the visit, His Royal Highness attended the opening ceremony for the Mohammed Najib military base in Alexandria and a graduation ceremony for Egyptian cadets held under the patronage of the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Egypt as well as a number of senior officials attended the departure ceremony at Burj Al Arab Airport in Alexandria. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended today the opening of the Mohammed Najib military base in Alexandria and a ceremony for graduating cadets. The graduating cadets are from Egypt and a number of GCC countries including Bahrain. The new military base is the biggest in the Middle East and North African region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted Egypt's integral role in supporting Arab cooperation and collaboration which is crucial crucial to addressing regional challenges. His Royal Highness also noted Egypt's long-standing commitment to fighting all forms of terrorism, adding that this role continues to receive international and regional recognition. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to add that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain continues to intensify collaboration and cooperation with Egypt as well as other Arab and international allies to eliminate all forms of terrorism and extremism. His Royal Highness spoke of Egypt's history and its efforts to promote culture, arts, science and education across the Arab world over many decades. He also praised the positive role played by the people of Egypt in supporting ongoing development efforts in Bahrain and the wider region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his best wishes to President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the opening of the new base, which takes place in conjunction with the 65th anniversary of the July 20th third revolution. His Royal Highness accompanied President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on a four of the base including of the Museum of General Muhammad Najib during the ceremony. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and senior delegates awarded a number of cadets Defense Services medals to recognize their outstanding performance. Navy cadets trainee officer Muhammad Dawood Saadun from Bahrain was amongst the awarded cadets for outstanding performance. The Kingdom of Bahrain lauds the success of the security forces of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which led to the elimination of three wanted terrorists who had perpetrated a number of terrorist acts and crimes in Gatif province. It affirmed its support to the brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its war against all terrorist groups and its total rejection of whatever might undermine Saudi security and stability. The Kingdom of Bahrain highly values the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in combating terrorism terrorism at both regional and global levels and draining its funds as well as hailing its insistent efforts to underpin its security and peace regionally and internationally. The Kingdom of Bahrain renewed its unwavering stance that rejects terrorism and calls for concerted international efforts to uproot this menace which seeks chaos and instability and puts world security at stake. The U.S. President Donald Trump received at the White House the Bahraini ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, who presented to him his credentials as head of the Bahraini diplomatic mission to the U.S. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid has conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the U.S. President. The ambassador stressed his keenness to enhance the solid deep rooted Bahraini US relations in line with Bahrain's constant approach to develop its ties with allied and friendly countries in order to achieve the interest of the two friendly countries in all fields. President Trump congratulated the ambassador on being appointed to his post, noting that the US Bahrain relations have always been a role model in terms of their strategic partnership across all basic and vital sectors and the clear image they show 
show at the internal arena as two allied countries in various fields. The U.S. president praised the efforts exerted by the government of Bahrain and lauded the remarkable progress made in the kingdom's democratic model and atmosphere, which he said has made it an example to be emulated by other countries in the region.